Hey folks, in this video we're going to be making spaghetti carbonara. I'm going to roll out my fresh pasta dough using my KitchenAid pasta roller attachment. If you didn't see our video for fresh pasta, I'll link in the description. Be sure to check that out. So we'll fold it over here. Make sure you don't drop it on the floor. And we're passing it through the lowest setting on our KitchenAid mixer, which is number one. And you want to do this two or three times. So we'll fold it over once more. Pass it through. And now we'll change it to setting number two. And this is going to change the thickness and it's going to stretch out our pasta dough. So we'll pass it through on number two. And we'll go to number three. And since we're making spaghetti, we don't want it too thin. So I'll pass it through probably once more on setting number four and that'll be good. Number four. That looks good there. Get that down, put some flour on there. Keep everything dry. And now we can get our spaghetti cutting attachment. This pasta roller attachment is really a useful tool to have, especially if you're gonna be using fresh pasta a lot. Get our spaghetti cut here. There's also a fettuccine attachment. That looks great perfect thickness. I'll link in the description if you want to pick one of these up. Spread that out, get some flour on there so it doesn't stick. So we'll roll out and cut the rest of our pasta dough into spaghetti. So you can see we have about a pound here. That looks great and let's continue with the recipe. Alright we have our bacon rendering. And we started this in a cold pan because we want to slowly render the fat out of this bacon and make it crisp up nicely. And then we're gonna reserve all that fat and that's gonna be the base for our sauce. Have our water boiling for our pasta. And since we're using fresh pasta, as opposed to dry pasta, this dish is really gonna to come together quickly. So the pasta is gonna be the very last thing we do. So we wanna have all our other components to our dish ready to go. And then we can mix everything with the pasta and we'll be finished. If we were using dry pasta, we would have that eight to 11 minutes of cooking time to get everything else prepared. Let's let this render down. So our pasta is ready. We have our bacon fat rendered. We kept about a tablespoon. We're gonna take a little bit of this pasta water and add it to our fat. And we'll add our pasta to the pan. Give that a toss. And while our pasta is still hot, we'll add our egg mixture. And the heat from the pasta is going to cook that egg mixture. It's going to coat the pasta nicely, finishing our emulsified sauce. Keep moving it so your eggs don't curdle. And now we can finish plating. So to plate our mixture, we're gonna grate some fresh Parmesan cheese on the bottom of our plate. We don't wanna mix everything together because the cheese will melt and we wanna keep some of that texture. And if we toss the bacon with it as well, the bacon's going to lose its crispiness. So we'll grab our pasta. Little twist it to the bowl. Take our nice crisp bacon. Fresh cracked pepper. And to finish, some more grated Parmesan cheese. And that's it guys, pasta carbonara.
Give this recipe a try, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like this video, and let me know down in the comments if you want to see some other specific pasta dishes. Thanks for watching.